The control pause 50 years ago is estimated to be about 35 seconds. The control pause in today's day and age is about 10 to 15 seconds. Asthma has increased relative to changes of, of living standards. As we change our living standard, we start more processed foods, higher temperatures of houses, more stress, less exercise, and this is resulting in a lower control pause, and this is why we have asthma. It's not the hygiene hypothesis. If we look at countries such as Brazil, there's paper after paper showing that asthma is higher amongst the lower socioeconomic groups in those countries, meaning that those with poor sanitation have higher asthma rates. So we cannot put this down to the hygiene hypothesis, which I hear so often, nor can we put it down to pollution. Pollution is a trigger, but the countries with the highest pollution in the world don't necessarily have the highest asthma. Any of you who have, who have travelled in former communist Europe or to Southeast Asia or to these really relatively polluted countries, they have low asthma rates. Whereas the countries with the highest asthma in the world are New Zealand, the UK, Ireland and Australia. Relatively unpolluted. The west of Ireland, relatively unpolluted. The north, north of Scotland, relatively unpolluted, but high asthma. So it's about recognising the effect at our breathing volume. This is giving you the control and it's giving you the choice to deal with it. If we say it's down to the hygiene hypothesis, we have no control over it. This is that Mother Nature has let us down, that our gene pool has changed in the last 20, 30 years. No, our lifestyles have changed in the last 30 years. Let's look at the effect that our lifestyle has on our breathing and work with that.